Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Amen Shad Lu and in this course, I want to teach you Django framework. If you are a beginner, don't worry because I'm here to teach you Django framework step by step. So follow me to learn Django. First of all, I want to say some information about Django. What is Django and why is it so popular? Django is not the only web framework, but it's the most popular one. Django is a free and open source framework for building web applications with Python. Django is a high level Python web framework that it makes you be able to create a secure, maintainable and portable websites. Django takes care of much of the hassle of web development, so you can just focus on writing your app without needing to reinvent the wheel. Now that we know what Django is, let's talk about what you need to know to take this course. For starters, you need to know basics of Python as well as object-oriented programming such as classes, inheritance, and so on. And also, you should know the basics of relational databases and some concepts about databases such as tables, primary keys, relationships, and so on. Before we start coding, you should install the latest version of Python on your machine. So head over to python.org and click on Downloads and download the latest version of Python for your operating system. After that, you can open up your command prompt or terminal and run python dash dash version to make sure you have upgraded correctly. In this course, I'm gonna use a Visual Studio Code or VS Code as an editor. So if you don't have it, uh, you can get it from code.visualstudio.com and download it for uh, your operating system. After you download and run it, I want you to go to the extension panel over here and search for Python and install this extension. All right, now that we have installed all the necessary tools, let's create the first Django project. Open up your command prompt or terminal. In here, uh, I'm gonna go to the desktop directory. Actually, you can go to anywhere uh, on your machine. It doesn't really matter cd desktop after that i want to create a directory called bookstore bookstore is the name of our project and uh, you can choose any name for your project make directory bookstore and after that we should go to the bookstore directory cd bookstore and now we need to install virtual environment the virtual environment is an environment which is used by Django to execute an application. Actually, Python provides a tool virtual end to create an isolated Python environment. For installing the virtual environment, we should use pip. Pip is a package manager for Python. If you have Python version 3.4 or later, pip is included by default. So pip install virtual n all right the virtual environment installed now we should create a virtual environment for our project virtual n env env is a name of virtual environment directory in our project the virtual environment created in our project back in the vs code i'm going to open the project folder under the file menu select open folder in the desktop directory select your project and select folder bookstore is the root of our project inside it uh, there is a folder uh, called env this is uh, the virtual environment that uh, we created before uh, by cmd if you open it there is two directory library and scripts inside the scripts there is a activate.bat before uh, we start coding, uh, we should active the virtual environment by activate.bat. One of the important features of VS Code is that it has an integrated terminal and uh, you can use it instead of uh, command prompt or other terminal out of VS Code. Before that, we should select the Python interpreter for our project. Under the view menu, select command palette and search for Python interpreter. 
In here, there is two Python interpreter. The second is the Python that we installed on the machine. And the first is the Python interpreter that uh, is inside the virtual environment directory. Look at this, python.exe. We should select the first Python interpreter for our project. And after that, under the terminal menu, new terminal, and look at the bottom, there is a terminal and you can write your command in here. As you see, VS Code automatically activates the virtual environment for this project. If your terminal have not launched on uh, the CMD, go on the top, under the view menu, select command palette and search for select default profile and choose command prompt as a default. Now we should install Django into the virtual environment. Pip install Django. Django installed successfully. Look at this, django-admin.exe created in a script directory into the virtual environment. All right, we have prepared all requirements for our project. So it's time to create the project. For creating the project, we should use Django admin. As Django admin is inside the script directory, so write env backslash scripts backslash Django admin a start project and in here write the name of our project bookstore look at this created a folder of project called bookstore inside the bookstore directory there is a manage.py file write cd bookstore and write python manage.py run server if you copy this url and paste it into your browser congratulations you can run the first project correctly in the next session i want to teach you how to curate the first application in django thank you for watching this video